Good morning, tubers. Uh, just an update report on the rabbitry. Um, that's the mother there. She's doing very well. And these are the kits. They're two weeks old today. Um, we had, I believe it was nine upon birth. And we had two fatalities, um, which probably isn't that bad I guess um, we've got one underweight runt in this litter of kits I don't know if we can see him um, there's a nice big guy um, their instinctive reactions are good this one's just running wild look at this. they're uh, yeah quite good at the instincts you can see the runt way back there in the corner that's him. He's doing too pretty good too. He's very instinctive. We've been hand feeding him um, KMR, which is kitten milk replacer, just to give him a little bit. Because I mean, you look at the size difference between this guy here and this little one here. Like it's just the size difference is unbelievable. Um, that's uh, we're doing our best to save him. Hopefully we can. That that's the goal. Hi, mama. She's a little bit concerned. I mean, look at that! Isn't that amazing? Uh, these are these are pedigree purebred American chinchilla. Very big, uh, hardy breed. Um, it's it's uh, it, this is our first first foyer into uh, yeah. into breeding, so this is working out well. Unfortunately, as I told you guys before in earlier videos, this mama she does not like to feed out of the water bottle so we have a lot of issues with that I mean it's constantly feeding the pan here little baby she doesn't bite she's a good girl yeah, very very good buddy um, all in all I think the, for the how hot it's been the pregnancy went very well we were, we're not that dissatisfied with it um, from what we've been reading online I guess two fatalities isn't that bad um, so we're kind of happy with that. You can see the uh, you can see the uh, I broke it. No, I didn't. you can see the hutch that we uh, or the brooding box that we made or I don't know what the hell you call it nest nest box that's it the nest box we made it's just a plastic container bought at Canadian Tire and we chopped it out and we used that for the nest box which is pretty good. Um, it worked out well. Again, this cage, just our temporary setup. We're going to be switching over to a, uh, we're going to switch over to a tented affair. We're going to use a portable tent as a kind of sort of a mini barn. We just got to wait for the garden to get out so we can remove, we're going to move our box garden out of the way, create a new spot, get all that done. We got lots of work to do ahead of us. Um, so anyway, that's, that's the, uh, the mother bunny. We don't have a name for her yet. We were thinking Bobby Joe. I don't know. Kind of suits her. She's a little bit of a hillbilly. And Bobby Joe and the babies. And next. There's old Buck. He's doing a good job. Yeah, pretty quiet guy. He's, he's probably the most quiet bunny I've ever seen. He just likes to pound his pellets. We have Colt. Colt's a good guy. Aren't you, Colt? He's pedigree. His numbers are P18. I got this little girl here. I don't know what we're calling her because I, I I don't stay. The wife, my wife and my daughter names them. So she's doing very well. She's growing. She's a little bit wild. She's a little bit rangy. She gets going. She's a little bit, a little bit of a nutty rabbit. Let me get shot in the face. And she's beautiful. Yeah, that's Barbara. We thought she was pregnant, but it turned out to be a false pregnancy. So we're gonna wait a week or two, and then we'll rebreed her again. Um, the idea behind that is uh, try to get out of this heat. Be nice to maybe have a couple of couple of uh, couple of litters in the cooler weather. Yeah, 
She's definitely a good girl. Hey, Barbara. She just enjoys life, this one. And Jake's putting up, getting something ready going here. I uh, guess you an idea. Our cages, we like big cages. A lot of breeders don't, they like small cages. I think the animals need a decent amount of room to run around. Um, we're gonna get into a tractor feeder. As soon as we got some other work around the house, it's gotta get done first. We'll get that done and we'll show you a video of what we built. Um, so that gives you an idea. This is where we're moving the hutch, the hutches to. So this big tree is coming out, this garden's coming out. We'll move it over and then we'll have two rows inside a portable building. So there's the update. How things are going. Mama pounds water hard. That's one thing I gotta tell everybody is that when you have a lactating bunny, they drink a lot of water. She'll pound that can down at least one full can and a half. And I mean that's probably gotta be four four ounce can. So she'll she'll drink a easy four, five, six ounces of water per setting. That's something to keep an eye on is is uh, how much how much water your uh, your your lac your lactating bunny is consuming. Anyway, thanks again for watching. We really 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 want to pound up the the likes on and the hits. So if you can think of anything to suggest me, please comment. Let me know. Uh, we're trying to get this page off the ground and get things or this channel off the ground. Get things going and try to be informative. So there we are. That's that's pretty much it for today. We got a lot of work to do in the house. That's Jake. He's the actual owner of the rabbitry. I'm the lead hand. And this is what this is it for today. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, check for our updated channels often. Once we get cooler weather comes, we'll get rolling and get some more video. As you can see, the mama already dumped her, her water, so there's another one we got to refill. Anyway, thanks for looking. Cheers for now.